Yeah. Maybe move your king to h2, but but whatever you do, don't allow rook d1 check. For those watching Danya speak in Grandmaster knowledge there, a rook ending is much easier to hold than a queen ending with an outside pass pawn here. So if you had to if you had to make a trade, you want to trade the queens here, not the rooks. Three seconds for Magnus. He's making moves with one second left. He's trying to get a rook to the second rank, and he just did. Little, but little, I don't see it. Tickle. Rook tickle. takes c6, rook d1. What a Ooh. trap. Ooh. Ooh. Here comes yeah, rook the pawn, Danny. Rook d1 threatening me. Look at Magnus. Oh my he's gosh, just making he's making progress. Easy. He's just going to push it to c3. Oh, he allowed rook d1. H1 oh, was now mate. C3 is over. Rook oh, d2 coming. Here, here comes rook That's d2. That's it. That's it. Magnus. Goodbye. Magnus doing what he does better than anybody in the world, which is convert on these small advantages. You know.